Good day, brethren. This is Dr. Malolo Motesho. Well, I'm happy to reach you again. Uh, I'm reaching you because you're alive. I'm reaching you because I'm alive, and that is to God's glory. Briefly, I want to talk about what do you need when you're seeking a mate? So many people have asked me, you know, what do I need to look out for? What do I really need when I'm trusting God for a mate? It really depends. Do you want it made for sure? Then you have to go for who fits the bill. You know, do you want a maid that would um, be a first lady or what have you? Then you have to look out for who fits the profile. But if you want a maid that would endure the test of time, you want a maid by God or through God, you want a maid that would be there for you through thick and thin, then you've got to trust God. And when I ask people what's the most important thing, some people say, oh, she has to be beautiful. Some people say, oh, she must be a Christian. Some people say, oh, she must be educated. Guess what? The most important ingredient is the will of God. God's will. What is God's will? You've got to choose what God approves for you. Because only that can stand the test of time. There's so many things we do not know because our vision is limited. Very limited. If you're going to end up in a village where nobody speaks English and you're going to be king there and... Um, you're going to have to move there with your wife. Guess what? I've been a model, a beauty queen. It may not really be necessary. Uh, phonetic, phonetics may not really be important. It may be important that she can teach other women, you know, how to be enterprising. It may be important that she's able to carry people along. It may even be very important that she knows how to speak the local dialect. You don't know where you're going. You don't know where you're going to end up. A man ended up becoming a president and his wife could not construct English. Could she have learned? Yes. If she had a teachable spirit, that would have worked out just fine. When Baba Deboye and Mama Deboye started their journey, they had no idea. Baba wanted to become the youngest professor. And the wife, she wasn't teaching line or she went into teaching line. So she wasn't going to become much more than that. She was going to become about that. I mean, she wasn't looking forward to being a professor to start with. But see how far God has brought them because they trust God. I want to say trust God. You've tried on your own. you failed. You've pre picked the prettiest woman and she has failed you. You've pre picked the most handsome man and he has let you down. The pandemic calls us to a time of introspection. Sit down and ask God, what do you want for me? What would stand the test of time? What would all go well for me? What would fit my future? What would help? Who? Who stand the test of time? Who will be there? For me? We don't even know how long we're going to live. So many deaths around us. I don't know where I'm go when I'm going. I know where. I don't know when. But if we just trust God, then we can go ahead with whoever God is sending our way. And if there's one or two things the person does not have, she's not too, she's loud. <laughs> you can teach her to be modest or you can, you know, mentor her to be modest or guide him to be modest, to be civil. There's so many things we can learn. Well, I trust that you pick one or two things from the short message and that you trust God. Pray about it. Tell God to lead you to your own woman or to your own man. And trust me, things would work out well in the end. Everything will work out for your own good. God bless you. God make his face to shine upon you in Jesus' name.